Hey guys, Wild Willie here checking in. Um, tonight we're working on a 1987 CMX 250C uh, Honda Rebel. Uh, so you can see it, it's actually right there. Uh, I've been working on it, on it for a little bit, um, but uh, starting to come together and give you guys a quick update. Uh, something that's gonna be great for this video is um, you can really apply these principles to most motorcycles. And that is if you're not getting a spark or if your bike's not wanting to start for you, um, these are some great um, easier things that you can check that typically go wrong that would cause you not to be able to have your bike start up or fire up for you. So right here you can see that uh, I've already pulled the spark plug out. Um, the bike, it'll turn over, but it's not firing up for us. Uh, so we pulled the spark plug and the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to check to make sure it had sparks. Uh, so a quick and easy way to do a spark test is you'll just go ahead and after you pull the spark plug out, you'll leave it right here, connect it into your, into your spark plug blue. We'll just touch it right down there to the engine. And then we're gonna try and start the bike and we should see a spark fly in there. Okay, so we got the bike on. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can see a spark right there. So you can see right there, there wasn't any sparks. So we'll keep on going up the road and see what we find. So I went ahead and pulled the spark plug out and just kind of lightly screwed it back into the engine. But this boot actually screws off, so you can screw this boot off and then we can check the connection inside there. So I went ahead and screwed this boot off. Um, the way it comes off is really you just uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey, you just, just twist it off. Um, and you'll see here, kind of has the end of that, it's like a metal screw that plug, that goes right into the end of that uh, wire right there and that's how that uh, spark is transferred or that current's transferred but looking at it I don't see any corrosion or anything like that uh, I snipped off the end of that wire just to get a fresh uh, just to kind of get a fresh connection to it and um, I don't see anything wrong with it you can look inside here and uh, you'll probably want to like shine a flashlight inside there just to see if you see any corroding points inside there to where the tip of the spark plug is gonna be connecting with it. Um, but really this is some basic stuff you wanna do just to rule out that you don't have a bad spark plug boot that's just blocking your current from getting your spark plug in the first place. I'm trying to do this one handed, but essentially you just screw that off to the left and screw it back on to the right and just kind of, and that's how that uh, comes on and comes off again. So we looked at your spark plug, we looked at where the boot right here connects uh, into your spark plug wire. Up here at the end of the spark plug wire, we have what's called your ignition coil. Um, <clears throat> and you can actually also use a plug, a multimeter in the end of that, just to make sure you're having some good current through it. Um, but this is also something that's easy to check. Here we have your ignition coil. Maybe that's gone bad. Um, and then your ignition coil comes up and it connects to this little piece right here, this little beauty, as you can see it, this is called an uh, igniter ignition module or a CDI box. So you can actually do some tests with a multimeter in these different connecting points that you see in there. Multimeter being that right there. But you can do a test with that multimeter to make sure that this module is still working. And in this case, what the CDI box does, or this igniter ignition module, is basically it's like a little computer that regulates uh, the spark that's getting sent down the wire into the ignition coil, into your spark plug boot, and into your spark plug, and into your motor. So if you hear your bike turning over, but it's not, uh, it's not firing up for you, you wanna just follow that spark path and see if you, one, you know, is your spark plug even throwing a spark? If it is, is it a weak spark? Check your boot. Um, you can check your ignition coil and then ultimately just keep on going up the line until you get to the CDI box. Um, but we found that that was bad. So we'll just go ahead and unplug this and do a quick test. Okay, so here we have our CDI box. Here we have our multimeter. What we're going to do right now is we're just going to check these different connections and as we check them, we don't want to see anything change on here. We want to make sure they're all isolated and to themselves that nothing's 
broken or grounded out inside the actual box itself. So we'll go ahead and do that. And essentially what I'll do, and it's kind of hard doing this, you know, one hand holding the camera, but essentially I'll touch one end right here. And then with the other end, I'll go through and I'll touch these other points. And we want to make sure that they're not connected. So we have our multimeter set to continuity. So that means that we shouldn't get any readings here. Um, and if we do, it means that these are somehow, these points are somehow connecting inside the box, meaning that something just got worn down or damaged uh, or grounded out uh, over time. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So again, I'm just gonna go through right here. I'll keep one right here. I'll keep it. So again, what I'll do here, it'll just keep one right here. And then I'll, with my other hand, which is kind of hard, I'll go through and touch these points and check them out. So this is a little tricky to do. I'm trying to hold the camera at the same time, but I'm touching this right here. I'm going through and I'm just touching each one of these points. And I want it to stay like that, but take a look at this. When I get these two touching, Oh, hang on. Sorry, I got a bad camera. But when I get these two points touching right here, so what I'm doing is I'm touching red right here and black up here. Again, kind of hard to do as I'm holding the camera for myself. Basically, I'm touching these two points right here. Look what happens up here on the screen. Kind of got these held in place right here. But if you look up on the screen, you'll see that they're, they're connecting. We're getting some readings. And we want it to be something like that. So we don't want to be having those connections. So that line of troubleshooting basically lets us know that that CDI box is, is bad and just needs to be replaced. Um, they're, they're not too expensive. Um, so I'll order a new one and we will plug that new one in on this bike and she'll be ready to go.